Today, we're going over some cheap and useful storage containers for storing your fishing gear. Some of them so far outside the box, you may have never even heard of them. So, let's jump right into this and start going over these containers. This right here is a Plano box, but it has a seal around it, which makes it waterproof. This is actually not a Plano box. <laughs> But it's just like one because we know where all Plano boxes come from. But this is just like a sealed Plano box, you know, with a little seal. This is a small one. They also make larger ones. But the difference is, I paid $4 for this one. And I think you can get the larger ones for $8 at Harbor Freight. So this is not a terminal tackle box. It's actually for screws and stuff. But really people, what's the difference? I mean, it looks just like a Plano box. It is just a Plano box. The difference is the price and where you bought it. I mean, you can't go wrong buying this for $4. Really. Now this came from Harbor Freight and it wasn't really that expensive and it's really freaking awesome. I mean, there's like 10 Plano boxes in this thing. And they're all divided differently. This one's got the slits going this way. This one's got the slits going this way. But for what I paid for this thing, I mean, you really can't beat it. I love how it keeps all your boxes together. The only downside to it, but it's really not a downside considering the price of it. I wish it was made just a little bit better. I mean, it's made okay and I think it'll last a while, but... I wish they would do a little bit better job because this is an awesome organization system. By the way, I did get this from Harbor Freight as well. I'm just saying. This is a regular box from Harbor Freight. I like the way it's got the rounded corners. You see what I'm talking about from this end? It's kind of cool because every divider comes already in there. You can take one of them out for a bigger jig and you can take both of them out for really big jigs. This box right here also came from Harbor Freight. And it's got these little trays inside of it that are pretty dang cool. Something I like about it, you can take these trays out, move this one over, put these back in. You can reorganize this thing any way you want to. And it's really the perfect size for terminal tackle. Something else I really like about it is you can take all these trays out. Now you got a tackle box that'll fit my terminal tackle. Know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. I've showed this box before on videos and I like it because you got these little boxes in it. You can put jig heads, soft plastics. You can carry extra split shots. You can put minnow hooks in it. I really like this thing and I've been using it for a lot of years, but I've started to use this one right here because I like keeping it in my boat. You see how small this thing is? And you see my old jewelry box. This is my new jewelry box. It's just so much smaller. It takes up a lot less space. This is the smaller version. You can get these in different sizes. And something else you got to think about. This is one of them. You see how the bottom one has threads on it? Well, I could get another one of these and I could screw it to it and make this thing twice as long if I want to. This little thing right here is actually pretty handy. I like to keep something like this because if I'm catfishing or bass fishing, let's see that thing. <laughs> I'm gonna get a little cluster it ain't showing up. And I run across a bunch of crappy. That way I always got some crappy jigs with me. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. Another one. <laughs> Another box I found interesting. It's this long skinny box I got at Harbor Freight. I'm just saying this thing is kind of interesting. I mean, the reason this thing's cool is, is because it's odd shaped. I mean, regular Plano boxes just don't hold everything you need them to. And this one, you can still remove all these dividers. And you can put stuff too big for your regular box in them. I think that one right there is kind of interesting. Speaking of containers. Oh, why was the blonde staring at the orange juice container? Beats me. Because it said concentrate. Now these next containers, well they kind of been hacked. What I mean, they have been hacked by the company that made them. It's like they have been watching my videos or something. I'm just saying, you know what I'm saying? Now just take a gander at this box right here because it's really interesting. This would no doubt fit in a boat really easy. And what this thing is, is a storage tote. It's made by AutoDrive and it's a cargo storage bin. An expandable 
cargo storage bin. Or maybe it's collapsible, I don't know. But this thing is really cool. You just put one of your hands in, pull up on the side, and this thing turns into a solid storage bin. Once you get this thing popped up, I mean, it's pretty solid. The sides are made out of rubber, but it doesn't collapse easy like you would think. And I could see this being used for all kinds of stuff. Well, what if you caught some fish and you don't have a live well and you wanted to keep them? You could hang a bubble box on it and run your bubbler in there and keep fish alive in this thing. I mean, I'm just saying, this thing's kind of cool. But the coolest thing is when you're done with it, you can collapse it back down and after you do you won't have a problem storing this thing anywhere this box right here i really do like and i got it at home depot as you can tell but this thing right here is hard as a rock i mean there ain't nothing flimsy about this box I like that it's got like six locks holding it shut, but the best part is it's got a clear lid so I can look inside of it and see what's in it. And I know you're probably thinking that's awful big for a tackle box, but you know them holes on center consoles, the hole right under the steering wheel. Well, I got one of those in mind too. And when I go fishing, I like to take my camera gear with me. And I got a lot of expensive camera gear. Well, my camera bag will fit inside that little box. That way if I'm fishing, and starts raining or something it ain't gonna hurt my camera equipment because this thing has a rubber seal made in it see what i'm saying it's got a rubber seal in it well when i close this thing i can be assured that if it rains or something my stuff ain't gonna get wet in it but something else i like about this like i said it's got six clamps well if i leave two of the clamps locked this thing turns into a pivot lid that's pretty cool right there I'm just saying. I did an ammo box hack video a couple of years ago, and I showed you different ways to use ammo boxes to store fishing gear. Well, one of the hacks on it, I made dividers out of aluminum, and I made a sinker box out of an ammo box. Well, I was at Home Depot last month. Plano done made this box. See, Plano. And I'm totally shocked it's made in the USA. But you can kind of tell because... I mean, this thing is tough. It's a lot like an ammo box, but it's way bigger than an ammo box. And if you open this thing up, it's got dividers in it. They made dividers just like the one that I did. What the freaking I believe somebody's been watching my videos, but it's okay. This thing is still pretty cool. And you could use this for a sinker box, keep your peg floats in. I mean, you can keep all kinds of stuff in this thing. And like I said before, it's made really tough. I kind of like it. You can get a lot of good storage boxes at the Dollar Tree and places like Dollar General. I mean, I got two of these for a dollar at Dollar General. That's a pretty good deal. So on one of my hack videos, after I made the ammo boxes, I found some little miniature ammo boxes. And you can buy these things and they all fit in a little tray that keeps them nice and organized. And that thing is pretty cool too. Hey, I got another one. Not right now. What do you call a mislabeled orange juice container? I don't know. Pulp Fiction. And finally, we got some of my favorite containers that I've made over the last several years. You know what I'm saying? One of the coolest and cheapest fishing gear boxes was a pencil box. You can get pencil boxes for under a dollar just about anywhere, especially when school's starting back. Well, I took a pencil box and some styrofoam that I was throwing away. Get a tough top styrofoam, kind of like a pool noodle or something. Matter of fact, you could use a pool noodle. But you cut that styrofoam up into pieces, you glue it into your pencil box, and when you're done, you got your fly box. I'm just saying. Now, most of you seen these right here. They're kind of like little notebooks. And they got these plastic sleeves in them. You can put bait in them. This one here has just got smaller ones in it. But it's basically the same thing. One of the coolest storage hacks for fishing gear I ever did was the pencil pouches. First, you need a notebook. Then you get you some $1 pencil pouches. But instead of putting pencils in them, you put fishing gear in it. Now, the notebook's probably going to cost you more than a dollar. But the pencil pouches, you can find just about anywhere for a dollar and they work great for holding fishing gear and you can keep all kinds of stuff in this i mean it'll hold just as much as the ones you buy that cost a lot of money and my favorite part about these things is they come with a zipper you can zip it shut the thing i hate about the ones you buy 
is they got like these Ziploc bags and you just can't make these things say shut half the time. They're aggravating. Well, there you have it. 15 storage container ideas to store your fishing gear that's cool and affordable. If you like this video right here, then you are gonna like this video right here. I'm sure, but maybe, maybe. But anyway, you need to go check it out because this video is over.